when you value something, you give it attention, but also your attention gives things value. So you have to be careful, not just positively, but negatively as well. When you give attention to negativity, you get a return on that as well. There are certain things that when I give them attention, they heighten my shame. They heighten my insecurity. And so we have to be willing to do the work to ask ourselves, what did I get in return from that attention? Like I gave you some attention for this drama. I gave you some attention for this thing that we've gone over, over and over again. And now for some reason, after I gave you attention, I feel less than. After I gave you attention, I feel more insecure. After I gave you attention, I don't know if I trust God anymore. There are some people that when you give them attention, there are some situations when you give them attention, you get a value, but the value is not necessarily in the place that you wanted. Now your depression has more value. Now your insecurity has more value. Now your trauma has more value. How did it become more valuable? It's because I gave attention to something that fed into something that was already living inside of me. The only time that things really get under my skin is when there's already a seed that has been deposited in my life. And then someone comes along and they water a seed that was already there. And so what I have to learn to do is starve out the people who feed the things that make me more insecure because I'm moving into a season in my life where I cannot afford to be double-minded. I got to be stable in order to break this generational curse. I got to be stable in order to build this business. I got to be stable in order to walk with integrity. I got to be stable in order to lead this church. I got to be stable in order to be in ministry. And sometimes that means I got to block some things out of my mind because the only time I feel unstable is after I have engaged with you some people are on assignment from the enemy and they don't even realize it my assignment is not even to thwart you my assignment is to divide your attention because if I divide your attention then you will not have enough momentum to do the thing God has called you to do the enemy didn't stuff the fruit down her mouth all he did was divide her attention I know you're focused on being fruitful and multiplying I know you're focused on having dominion but did you ever think about this fruit and now her attention has been divided It's the same thing with content creation or weight loss or ministry or whatever. You have to understand what's happening. You have to understand what's moving the numbers, what helps people gravitate, what makes for an easier experience. You have to be willing to look. This is not us being ignorant and blind. You got to do the research. You got to understand what's taking place. But at the same time, you have to understand when it's time for you to bring your focus back to the lane that God has given you so that you can stay in your lane, your attention is an investment and what we have to be willing to ask ourselves is what return am I getting on this investment you know when I sometimes forget that I'm a gentle parent because I'm still new to it I remember in moments where my younger children are distracting me while I'm working, that I don't get to just get somewhere and sit down and move out of the way. I don't, I don't do that, though that's what's in my spirit. Because I read somewhere that it is important that a child receives attention so that they are positively affirmed in their confidence, their self-image. So much of who they are and what they believe is possible has to do with the level of attention they receive from their primary caregiver. And so there are some moments where I say, hold on, let me finish this email so that I can give you my undivided attention. Because what I want in return from that attention is in an adult who believes in their ideas, their gifts, and their talents because I created an environment at home that says what you say matters to me. How you express yourself matters to me. Your creativity is important to me. So much of what's wrong with so many of us is that we never had someone stop and give us enough attention to say, I believe in you. And so now we are adults trying to figure out how do I move with confidence and boldness, not recognizing that that could have been solved when we were young children. If somebody would have said, I see you, what you're doing is important to me, you matter. Matter. 